Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Xenoxus, bringing you some more Danlachi Memorial Freeze content. Now, today normally would be our finale to our beginner's guide. But instead, I figured I'd take a break since the last part of my beginner's guide is going to be about Iris and where to get some extra, how to spend it, and the casino mode. And instead, I have a metric shit ton of tickets. And I'd like to go through them. I'm also super tempted to summon on that Anna Kitty batter for an Anna Kitty. Alright, we got a Hestia. These are currently all of the tickets that you can get if you've been playing since the beginning uh, in the last event. So, all the 15 uh, gold tickets that you get through the gacha with the new event, all the silver tickets in the uh in the exchange and then the other six are from login bonuses i don't remember i don't remember where i got the other golden tickets so we're just gonna go through these pretty quick if i don't see gold doors or higher i skip and with the gold tickets if i don't see purple doors i will skip I just have too many tickets to go through this slowly, so we might as well take a look. Alright, didn't change. And I hit the wrong button. And then, if there's still time, I might go for the Ana Kitty. I, I, I would really like the Ana Kitty. Now, the 4-star rates are the same for both the silver and gold tickets as they are, like, in normal banner. So, and they're the same as each other. Uh, four star rates are still 2%, which honestly is really, really bad. A four star for adventures, rather. Or uh, 2% two, two for adventures, 1% for assists, that it makes a total of a 3% rate. But this game is so free to play friendly that it kind of makes up for it. I just. Sometimes I really wish they have the rates just slightly. Damn. Normally in 30 tickets, I, I get at least one four star. It doesn't look like this is going to happen, however. Maybe? Come on. No. Give me something good. You know, maybe this just means that my regular gotcha luck will be really good. Maybe. Hopefully. No. If I get a four star in these tickets, then my, my gotcha rate the luck is going to be fucking terrible. Well, so here's the thing. I would love to save my iris for whatever is coming next. I just have a feeling I'm going to regret this. But I want this on a kitty. I don't have any on a kitties yet. I would like one on a kitty, given that she's the only one in the game. All right, high chance, high chance, 1,200. Iris is not bad on this banner. Here we go. Be on a kitty, be on a kitty, be on a kitty. There we go. Fuck yes. There we go. She's a water support unit. I don't care about that. What I care about is that in here character list 56 out of 56 I finally have her and now I get some extra iris back let's see here 5, 10, 15, 20 iris back for that and now I have an Ana Kitty that makes me very happy still so. We might not have gotten a 
four star out of the tickets, but we did get this on a kitty, which I'm going to take a look at in the character album. Chloe, where is she? Where there she is? Let's take a look at her. So kind of mediocre stats at level 60 with no dupes. Uh, minus magic on attack. That's pretty good. Um, she's a physical water attacker. And she can hit foes. Or f she's pretty mediocre. Uh, pretty, pretty mediocre. But for only 1,200 when I was willing to spend... Um... 1500 to 2000 for. What is she at maxed? Yeah, she's kind of mediocre. That's that's a balance type for you. Um. Yeah, so I did. I did three multis. It's 1200 out of 2000. Yeah, that's not bad. That's that's actually pretty good, and I'm satisfied with that. All right, guys, that's a really quick summoning video for you. And I will check y'all tomorrow for the ending of our beginner's guide. Peace.